White blood cells called macrophages lead the body's cell-mediated immune response by engulfing and digesting foreign invaders. Combining peptide fragments from the invaders with some of its own proteins, the macrophage builds a patchwork of antigen complexes on its surface. When smaller white blood cells called helper T cells encounter the macrophage, those with matching receptors bind to its surface. These helpers then multiply and secrete chemicals which call different cells into battle, especially the cytotoxic or killer T cells. The macrophage, or an infected cell, activates only those cytotoxic cells with receptors that match the antigen complexes. Stimulated by chemicals from the helper T cells, these killer T cells rapidly divide into an army of clones, all designed to fight the specific invader that triggered the response. When killer cells dock with an infected cell, they bombard it with lethal toxins, then move on in search of other targets. The body's humoral, or antibody-mediated immune response, begins in the same manner as its cell-mediated response. But here, the macrophages are joined by lymphocytes, called B cells. The pathogen activates only those B cells with matching receptors. These cells stand ready to enter the battle. Meanwhile, the antigen-presenting macrophages activate those helper T cells with matching receptors. These, in turn, rendezvous with activated B cells. Triggered by this meeting, the helpers release chemicals which spur the selected B cells into rapid reproduction. Some B cells become memory cells, ready to respond to a later invasion by the same pathogen. But most become antibody-producing factories, called plasma cells. Freely circulating in the body, antibodies dock with pathogens. This neutralizes them or marks them for destruction by other weapons in our immune arsenal.